in a bustling veterinary clinic. The day unfolds with routine checkups, vaccinations, and the occasional emergency. But imagine this a concerned pet owner rushes in, their beloved dog in tow. The dog had been joyfully chasing a ball minutes ago, but suddenly collapsed in the middle of the park. As the heartbeats of everyone in the room quicken, a cloud of questions forms why did this happen? Is the dog okay? What could have caused such a sudden event? Welcome to the intricate and often mystifying world of syncope in small animals. Today, we'll journey through its causes, signs, and diagnosis. Whether you're an experienced veterinarian, an aspiring vet student, or a dedicated vet technician, this comprehensive guide is designed just for you. So, buckle up and let's unravel the enigma of syncope together. In the realm of veterinary medicine, the terms collapse and syncope are often used interchangeably. But there's a subtle yet crucial difference between the two. Picture this a vibrant golden retriever playing fetch. Suddenly, its legs give way, causing it to tumble. That's collapse sudden loss of strength leading to a fall. Now imagine, in the midst of a lively game, the same dog goes limp its eyes rolling back as it momentarily loses consciousness. This transient lapse, my friends, is syncope a brief blackout caused by a decreased blood flow to the brain. It's essential to pinpoint this distinction, as the underlying causes and treatment strategies for each can vary dramatically. Keeping these definitions in mind, will be our foundation as we delve deeper into the subject. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter. Syncope might sound complex, but the underlying mechanism is a straightforward sequence of events. Imagine a bustling city, the brain, reliant on a continuous supply of goods, the blood. When the supply chain, our blood flow, is disrupted, the city plunges into darkness. In simpler terms, when blood flow to the brain decreases drastically, it results in syncope. Two key players regulate this blood flow, cardiac output and vascular resistance. Think of cardiac output as the volume of goods being transported, and vascular resistance as the efficiency of the roads. Any disruption in these can lead to our dreaded blackout. Grasping this core concept is pivotal. As we explore the various causes and manifestations of syncope. Understanding the major causes of syncope is like piecing together a puzzle. Every piece tells a story. First up, cardiac syncope. Our heart is the engine that powers our body. If it falters, everything else does too. Issues like arrhythmias or structural heart diseases can reduce its efficiency, leading to syncope. Next, we have reflex-mediated syncope. Picture this our body's control systems get momentarily confused, causing a sudden drop in blood pressure and sometimes even a slow heart rate. It's like a computer glitch but in our autonomic nervous system. And then there's orthostatic syncope. It's a phenomenon we humans are quite familiar with. Standing up too quickly and feeling dizzy. But in animals, this is still a gray area. Due to the challenges of documentation, each of these causes offers unique clues and requires a tailored approach for diagnosis and management. As we delve deeper, you'll see how these pieces fit together to complete our syncope puzzle. When it comes to diagnosing syncope, it's not always straightforward. Many conditions can mimic its symptoms, making accurate diagnosis a challenge. Imagine a detective story, where every clue can lead to multiple conclusions. First, there's the classic syncope versus seizures debate. 
While both can cause a sudden collapse, seizures often come with additional neurological signs. And the post-event confusion is usually more prolonged. Then there's exercise intolerance or weakness. It's like an athlete running out of stamina mid-race. These animals can start exercising but tire out quickly. Unlike syncope, there's no sudden and unexplained collapse. And who could forget narcolepsy? This rare condition can cause dogs to fall asleep out of the blue. But here's the catch they can be easily awakened, making it distinct from syncope. By understanding these nuances and having a keen observational eye, we can differentiate syncope from its look-alikes and ensure our furry friends get the right treatment. Zooming in on specific conditions. The world of veterinary medicine has documented several intriguing syndromes. It's like peeling back the layers of a mystery novel, revealing unexpected twists and turns. Let's begin with the exercise-induced collapse EIC. Think of an athlete at the peak of their game, suddenly stumbling. Breeds like the Labrador Retriever and Pembroke Welsh Corgi have shown susceptibility due to a mutation. Although they show signs like sudden hind limb ataxia after rigorous activity, the twist is, they remain fully conscious. Then, there's the border collie collapse. It's a tantalizing puzzle. These dogs show symptoms similar to EIC but test negative for the common DNM1 gene, making their condition a unique enigma. And the episodic falling syndrome in Cavalier King Charles Spaniels? It's like a dancer suddenly going off beat. These dogs experience limb hypertonicity during excitement, all due to a mutation of the BCAN gene. In the vast tapestry of veterinary medicine, these specific conditions emphasize the importance of detailed observation, precise diagnosis, and understanding each breed's unique narrative. Imagine being a detective, analyzing every clue to solve a mystery. That's precisely what vets do when evaluating a patient's episode. Was it syncope, collapse, or a seizure? The nuances matter. A meticulous history and physical examination serve as the foundation. It's like piecing together a puzzle. For instance, while both syncope and seizures can lead to a transient loss of consciousness, the aftermath tells a different story. Seizures often leave their mark with slow recovery. Whereas extended cerebral hypoxia from cardiac arrhythmias can mimic this. For emergency clinicians, the stakes are high. Identifying life-threatening causes, like arrhythmia, is pivotal. But they also wear the hat of a strategist, recognizing when it's a non-critical cause. Deciding the next steps, or referring to a specialist. Ah, and the San Francisco syncope rule, validated in humans, serves as an invaluable compass. Using the acronym CHESS, it focuses on congestive heart failure history, hematocrit levels, ECG abnormalities, shortness of breath, and systolic blood pressure readings. From blood pressure checks, long-term ECG monitoring, to a comprehensive blood work, the diagnostic journey is exhaustive, ensuring no stone is left unturned. Picture this a complex maze with multiple pathways, each leading to a unique solution. That's the treatment landscape for syncope and collapse. Navigating it requires precision and expertise. When an arrhythmic origin is unveiled, the arsenal includes antiarrhythmic medications or even pacemaker therapy. But what about reflex-mediated syncope? Especially when there's no structural heart disease. Though episodes are sporadic and often not life-threatening, treatment can be a conundrum. 
Consider boxers with ventricular tachyrhythmias. They might need a blend of pacemaker, therapy and antiarrhythmic medication for optimal care. High preload in dogs with structural heart ailments? The answer could lie in diuretics, positive inotropes, and ACE inhibitors. And don't get me started on cats with hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. They can often find respite with beta blocker treatment. But as with any treatment journey, there's no one size fits all. It's a blend of art and science. Intuition and evidence, ensuring our furry friends get the best care possible. As we draw the curtain on this deep dive into syncope and collapse in our beloved companions, let's circle back to our key takeaways. Syncope, a transient loss of consciousness, is a signpost, an indicator of an underlying condition, from the heart's rhythm to reflexes and from genetic quirks in specific breeds to metabolic disorders, the causes are varied. Remember, each animal is unique. Their symptoms, their stories, and their solutions. As veterinary professionals, our challenge is to unravel these stories, piece together the clues, and navigate the maze of possible treatments. So, the next time you witness an animal collapsing, or showing signs of syncope, wear your detective hat. Dive deep, ask questions, and seek answers. Because in our hands, lies the health and happiness of these incredible creatures.